Hello everyone, thank you all for joining us for today's webinar. I'm Maina from the marketing department at m and and I'm delighted to present today this webinar we have prepared. Omni Player 3, integrate your radio automation with the best front-end applications. Today we have interesting content for you. Together with David and Francis, business development manager and Omni Player product specialist at m and we will discover the power and possibilities of integrating your radio automation software with other front-end applications using our solutions. If you have any questions, you can write to us at sales at omniplayer.com. Shall we start? I leave you with David and Francis. Hi, and welcome to this webinar. I'm David. And I'm Francis. I will be your host for today. In this webinar, we talk about the role of Omniplayer when virtualizing the radio workflow. And we will do this by zooming into an actual setup as a client. This technology has been implemented at RTL Belgium and is running now for quite a while. And to make this happen, we coll collaborated with a few trusted partners. Later on in this webinar, we will show this in a highlights video. But before we do that, let's give a bit more context from the Omniplayer point of view and how our latest Omniplayer 3 version ties into this uh, workflow. First of all, in my introduction, I mentioned the uh, virtualizing the radio workflow. This can mean many things, of course, and Francis, maybe you can uh, tell us a little bit what that means in this respect. Well, in the use case at RTL, we see that there are no uh, physical consoles in the studios. So everything is controlled via a tablet where a talent comes in, he selects or she selects where, uh, the, what job he or she wants to do. And then the whole studio changes according to that. And then they get the, uh, the Omniplayer rundown, the cards and everything, and they control everything via that thing. Okay, all right. So no faders, no t just touch, touch screens. Yeah. So what part does Omniplayer play in this workflow? And how does Omniplayer 3 specifically make that happen? So with Omniplayer 3, of course, we have the, uh, the APIs uh, that others can connect to. And in this case, the entire backend, so um, the entire content library, the playlist, the ingest, the outgest, everything is contained within the uh, Omniplayer system and accessible by third parties uh, via the API. And of course, we supply the uh, client API so that they can control the player. Okay. Okay, so actual proof that choosing the route of an open system for a radio playout uh, and production was the right choice for Omniplayer to go. Yep. Definitely. And this obviously opens up a lot of new possibilities for clients such as RTL Belgium, perhaps also with talent with low, uh, less technical uh, knowledge to operate in, in the studio. Cool. Uh, well, just a few points before we take a look at the highlights video. And just for my reference, in this new workflow, does the DJ even see Omniplayer at all? Or does it come, can it come across Omniplayer? No, for, in this case for us, unfortunately uh, not. Um, so the, the whole front end is built by uh, one of our partners, Clickbox. Um, so that is what the uh, talents interface with uh, mostly. Now, they do see a little bit of Omniplayer though when they open the mix editor, then they see the uh, Omniplayer web-based uh, mix editor pop-up. Uh, for the rest, it's uh, somebody else. All right, all right. Okay, clear. So end users will not see a whole lot of Omniplayer, but are nevertheless relying on the functionality. Yeah. And just like a driver drives a car, but doesn't, doesn't know how the engine works. Or at least I don't. Uh, but is this the future of radio now? Just all touch screens and dummy proof stu studios or do some DJs, can they do some more? I think that really depends uh, side by side. Uh, so I think especially for talk radio and news uh, related stations that it can be very, very convenient. Uh, but I think that for um, hit radio stations that the talent there still, I think, want to hold on to their, to their consoles and their faders so they really have a physical connection uh, with it. But of course, a hybrid solution is also very much possible. All right. Okay. Well, thanks, Francis. I think this gives a whole uh, lot of insight into how Omniplayer is used in these workflows. Let's move over to the highlights video uh, that we produced with our trusted partners, Labo and Fluxbox. This video captures the virtualized work radio workflow at RTL Belgium. So without further ado, let's watch the video and we'll get back to you after that. Enjoy. You go to the studio, switch on the lights, select what you're about to do and do your thing. 
Going on air is just three button presses away. This has been a momentous change for us. Imagine a breaking news situation at 4 o'clock in the morning. It used to require at least an additional sound engineer. Today, one person takes care of everything. RTL Belgium is a Belgian-owned media group for the French-speaking part of Belgium. We produce radio, TV and digital content. For our Magenta project, we looked at innovative radio stations in Northern Europe for inspiration. We designed our studios for maximum flexibility. This one here, for instance, currently uses the Bell RTL theme, but can easily be switched to radio contact. We have all the tools we need to air simulcasts, pre-record shows, produce podcasts and generate streams for Twitch. Newsreaders now manage their shows all by themselves. They prepare the sound effects, ingest them into the system and then trigger them during their newscast or newsflash. This is self-op at its most accomplished. VSM offers all the tools we need. It supplies a menu simplified to the extreme where users can log in. The host or readers selects the station, Bell, RTL or Radio Contact, then specifies whether they want to go live on air or record their content. Finally, they specify their role, presenter or newsreader. We chose Lavo Power Cores as the I.O. and background mixing system because of their impressive stability and the ability to control them via VizTool. Automation tasks are handled by the OnHertz Artisto system. The reason why we use VizTool is that it is a rock-steady yet highly responsive client that allows us to embed the HTML pages of our Pluxbox user interface and OmniPlayer automation system. The OmniPlayer playout system is hidden from the operator. It's controlled either via VizTool or Pluxbox. We decided to centralize our playout system so as to make it accessible from any studio and soon even from remote locations. We started out with a proposition we thought was spot on for our users. At the time, nobody could even imagine an on-air studio with no console or the ability to reconfigure the setup in three simple steps. We decided to base the project on something more akin to how things are handled in 2023. We devised a Scrum approach because we wanted to progress in iterations on the one hand and to involve both key radio users and the management from the start. No more consoles, only touch screens and items that make sense to content producers rather than operators with a technical background. One of the benefits of our system is that onboarding new radio talent has become super easy. Format overrides remain possible at all times. Each radio show still involves a certain degree of improvisation. This is made possible by a virtual cart, where users can tweak levels using virtual faders and so on when they need to. Most of the time, everything to do with levels is completely automated, however. Still, ad-libs, either with or without simultaneous manual mixing, remain possible at all times. The next step for the Magenta project will be to use our interfaces, software tools and the central playout system for on-location shows. In a way, we had to dismantle our traditional production workflows and virtually rebuild them from scratch. I think everybody here at RTL is extremely proud of the Magenta project, not least because we've had countless visitors curious about what we did. Being a good radio host used to require a pleasing voice, interesting subjects to talk about, and at least some technical skills. Today, the voice and the content are enough. All right, great. I think viewers will have a much better idea of the home now. And um, is there anything specifically you would like to add to this video? I think uh, the collaboration with Plot Plot and Laro, they have worked uh, really uh, well. So I think we together uh, build a very nice uh, um, technical uh, situation. And um, of course, having that said, it's not only possible with uh, Laro and Plot Plot. Uh, so if you are stationed with Axia or DHD uh, and you want to do something else, that is uh, very much possible.
Okay, cool. So if I'm a radio broadcaster and I want a new radio automation system, I don't need to uh, replace everything. Uh, I can integrate with, uh, with others as well. Um, and what about if I have my own development team? Uh, can they do some of the heavy lifting that's, uh, that needs to be done for the integration? Yeah, sure. Just like any other third party would be able to do so. So the, uh, the OmniPlayer APIs, they, they follow the industry standards. So it's RESTful JSON APIs, uh, well documented. So any developer, more or less, can make uh, something around our API, so including your own custom Oh Well, thanks, Francis. I guess that makes it a wrap. My pleasure. If you want any additional information or if you want to pick our brain, uh, just feel free to drop us an email or drop a line in the comment section. And uh, we're happy to reach out and uh, hopefully uh, I think with you about the future of your radio. Until then, thank you and uh, until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you, David and Francis, for this content and demo. Just a quick reminder before we go, if you have questions, please feel free to send them to us at sales at omniplayer.com. Again, thank you all for being with us today. We hope to see you again soon with new features and content. Have a great day.